Ever wonder why setting your thermostat to a super low or high temperature doesn't cool or heat your home any faster? Are some of the people in your home using it wrong? Stick around and see how to simplify your AC and heating controls. So what actually is a thermostat? I think everyone knows that a thermostat is an electrical or electronic device to regulate heating and air conditioning systems. In the industry lingo, thermostats are a vital component of any HVAC, that's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system. But what does regulate actually mean? The thermostat is wired to the control switches of the HVAC system and allows turning it on, turning it off, and changing its settings. Simple, right? Whether you have separate heating and cooling systems or an integrated system, such as a heat pump, it doesn't matter. Modern thermostats provide a universal interface to control the operation of the environmental air handlers in your home. Turn it on or turn it off. These are very basic functions. If that is all that the thermostats did, there would be nothing more than a standard switch. The secret sauce of every thermostat is the ability to control the room temperature automatically. Set a desired target temperature or set point and the thermostat will automatically control the heating, cooling, or both to reach that temperature. Temperature control adds one crucial function to every thermostat to make this work. Early thermostats, which have been around for years, used a special bimetallic strip of two different metals physically joined together into a coil. Probably not my intent to delve into the minutia of the physics involved, but through the magic of dissimilar thermal expansion of different kinds of metals, the thermostat measures the air temperature in the room by expanding and contracting. The resulting change in shape of the metallic coil opens or closes a dry contact electrical switch or relay, which turns the HVAC system on or off. Are you enjoying this video? By clicking on the like button, you tell YouTube what content to show you. Help me help you and click the like button now. Modern thermostats use electronic components and sensors instead, but they do the same thing. Now, making a thermostat programmable or even adding further smarts isn't all that complicated. Additional control logic in hardware, software, or a combination of both allows for full automation of the thermostat. First of all, adding internet connectivity allows controlling the thermostat, if desired, from anywhere in the world. Heading home from a long trip or vacation? Crank up the heat or AC so you return to a nice, cozy home. Add program schedules to adjust the thermostat settings based on the time of day, the day of the week, the season of the year, the arrival and departure time of the residence, the occupancy or vacancy status of the home, or other factors. Even more advanced thermostats can also consult historical use and real-time data to make adjustments in programming on the fly. Yeah, nowadays it's sexy to call that processing artificial intelligence, AI, as the hot lingo of a few years ago, machine learning, ML, is somehow considered old-fashioned and obsolete. But it's really just automatic temperature control on steroids. The ubiquitous Nest thermostat was arguably the first smart home device to marry beautiful aesthetics with elegant functional controls while throwing in a sprinkling of ML programming. So what's the problem with thermostats and why did I make this video? The dirty little secret about HVAC systems is that they are simple, much simpler than most of us think. Automated scheduling, computerized controls, fancy mechanical buttons or dials, and even mysterious bimetallic sensing coils are hiding one indisputable fact. All thermostats are just an on-off switch, not a speed control. What I mean is, it doesn't matter what target temperature you choose. You can't make your HVAC system run faster or slower by setting a lower or higher temperature further away from the current room temp. Too hot? Too cold? Change the temperature on the thermostat and wait. Want help with your smart home? I offer private one-on-one -on -one consulting to save time and money for any home automation project. Use the link on the screen for more info. The target temperature you set on your thermostat does only one thing. It sets the final desired temperature and automatically shuts the system off 
when that is achieved. It doesn't matter if you set the temperature to 20 degrees or just one degree higher or lower. It cools down or heats up at the same rate. It doesn't change the speed or power. You can't make it cool down or heat faster by choosing a different setting. Want results faster? Whether you have a $50 basic one or the fanciest programmable smart home thermostat for several hundred dollars or more, you can do nothing to make your HVAC run faster other than buying a bigger, more powerful unit. So what's the big deal? The placebo effect of setting an artificially higher or lower temperature setting to try and get your system to work faster has a drawback. If you forget that you've done this, you might be waking up to a freezing cold room in the summer or a burning hot room in the winter. There's also a secondary problem. Because the physics of thermostats are not widely understood, you might still have trouble convincing your spouse or family members that they needn't bother futzing with the thermostat constantly if they feel too cold or too hot. Speaking from personal experience, this is an argument you cannot win. Just throw in the towel and let them twiddle the dial or push the buttons as much as they like. But remember to change it back to a rational setting when they are not obsessing about it so you don't freeze or boil. One last thing, the heating and air conditioning system in a car works the same way, but with one nuanced difference that you should know. When you select max heat or max cool, many cars will disengage the thermostat and keep the cooling and heating systems and the fans running at full throttle continuously. So in a car, choosing the max setting does make a difference. The calibration of the temperature sensors or their physical placement can be unreliable, so bypassing the thermostat and simply using the full on or full off settings may work better. Probably TMI, but did you know that in a gasoline powered car, the heating system is actually venting excess heat from the engine, but the AC system uses an auxiliary compressor, motor, and refrigerant just like a home system. That means heat is free in a gas car, but AC decreases gas mileage and engine power a bit. And those of us driving electric cars get penalized twice. Both heating and air conditioning draw additional electrons from the batteries to power the heater coils and AC compressor increasing that range anxiety we always worry about. Thank you so much for watching this video. You are awesome. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, toggle that subscribe button, automate the bell icon, and get started on your next smart home project. So what do you think? Is this going to make a difference for you? Will you be setting a thermostat differently now? Thermostats are just one important physical control for our smart homes. I'm a big fan of the Pico physical controls available as part of Lutron lighting systems. Learn more about Lutron Cassetta and Diva lighting control systems by watching this video next.